A third type of curse is a earned curse. It's a curse that we draw upon our life by indulging in rebellious ways against God. The first time curse was mentioned in the Bible was when Adam rebelled against God. It's interesting when Adam disobeyed God, God didn't threaten him with hell. A curse came upon the earth. A curse came upon their family. And as a result we see two children. No one else in the world and one child kills another one. That's a disaster. That's a curse on the family. We see Adam being kicked out of paradise because of the curse. Nowhere in the Old Testament we see God promising take people to heaven if they obey Him. But God says if you obey me I give you a blessing. If you rebel against me God didn't say I'm gonna send you to hell in the Old Testament. He says hell is gonna be unleashed in the form of a curse. Curses are real. And when we step on the territory of sin guys what we do is we draw like a magnet a curse into our life and it begins to work and it begins to destroy our life. I remember hearing a story of a man who really wanted to get married but either he was not good looking or didn't have a personality but he just didn't have a luck and he had this particular girl he was so fascinated by but she just wouldn't even give him a time of the day and so he decided to go and use spiritual means to manipulate her and so he went to some lady who used a charm on him and she told him if you take this soap and you bathe yourself and then you go where she is she will like you he paid for soap and it was a charm. It was a spiritual manipulation. It was demonic. So he took that soap, washed himself in that soap and he went in and the girl out of nowhere started to like him. He said, man this works. Went and got more soap until he proposed to that girl. Kept washing himself in this charm of soap to keep getting this girl and eventually they got married. After a few months of marriage the soap stopped working and the girl realized she married the craziest guy on this planet and what she did is she first burned his clothes then she burned his house and then she wanted to burn him and that's when he brought this crazy girl to church saying she is crazy as prayer was being offered for them the pastor of the church who God uses supernaturally he looks at him and he says the problem is not the crazy girl he says you're the crazy guy he says you went to the devil to get her and you used manipulation through witchcraft and through spells to get her and now what happened is you got her the devil's ways and the devil gave you one thing but with another hand he took what your life depends on he says you're the one that needs deliverance not her and after he prayed for her and he prayed for him they received deliverance and God restored their marriage and they still stayed together and God gave them a second chance you can't go to the devil for help and expect not to get a curse with it when we step on the Satan's territory, we draw a curse into our life. When we walk with God, we draw a blessing into our life. Can somebody say Amen?